Hi folks, Dr. Ed Beyer here today. I'm going to be making a short video on diabetes and high cholesterol. Everybody is scared to death of their cholesterol. And what a lot of people don't realize is that it's a result, high cholesterol is a result of unmanaged high blood sugar. So if you can manage your blood sugar and get your blood sugar down and, and control your type 2 diabetes, your cholesterol is going to drop too and you're going to lose weight. In fact, this Wednesday, I'm going to be holding a seminar in my clinic here in Tinley Park on reversing type 2 diabetes. You're welcome to attend. Now, let's talk about diabetes and cholesterol. Here's how it works. When you eat your food, your blood sugar always goes up. Your blood glucose always goes up. The best marker on your blood work for that is not your blood glucose. It's your hemoglobin A1C. A lot of you are familiar with that. It's a 90-day marker. It gives us a lot more. It's... it's much more accurate. So when your blood sugar goes too high, when your glu blood glucose goes too high, then your A1C is going to be higher. Folks, glucose in your blood is useless. It's got to get into the tank. It's got to get into your cells to be converted into energy. Having blood sugar, high blood sugar, is like having gasoline right next to your car tank, but it's not in the tank. So when your blood glucose goes up, the brain tells the pancreas to release a hormone called insulin. And you're going to remember the name of this hormone and what it does by its name. Insulin. In, in, in. Insulin pushes glucose into the cell where it can get converted into energy. But here's what happens in type 2 diabetes. Your blood sugar is too high all the time. And so your insulin is too high all the time. The more blood glucose you have, the more your brain's going to tell your pancreas to secrete insulin. What happens when insulin's high and at some point in time, your cells are going to stop listening to it. It's like if I screamed at you all day long, if you worked for me and I screamed at you all day long, you're going to start ignoring me. Or if you got teenagers, the more you talk, the less they listen. So high insulin is what you have in type 2 diabetes, not too low. If you're on insulin, your doctor is just trying to scream at the cells even harder. It works for a while, but as you're going to learn at the seminar, it starts to fail. But when insulin is too high, the cells become resistant to insulin. Now, insulin is like the key that unlocks the door for glucose to get into the cell. And that's not working anymore. And glucose piles up in your blood. Glucose is a big molecule. You cannot excrete it readily through your kidneys. So your body has to do something with it. And what it does is one of the first things it's going to do, it's going to convert the glucose that can't get into the cell into cholesterol and also triglycerides and low-density lipoproteins, LDLs. Those are all fats. This process is called lipo, fat, genesis. Genesis means the creation. So lipogenesis occurs, and this process requires energy. So not only are you not getting the glucose in your cell, and you're, and you're fatiguing all the time, especially your brain, and your, your body's doing something with the extra glucose and converting it into cholesterol and fats. That's why most people have high, glu high cholesterol. It's from a blood sugar problem. Many of you who are on metformin and, and, uh, and uh, Levermere or Humalog or different medications are also on a cholesterol-lowering drug. You fix the glucose problem, you're going to fix the cholesterol problem at the same time, and you'll get off those medications. Come learn more at the workshop. I'm Dr. Barr. I hope that helps. Have a great day.